Hello Scorpios, welcome back to I Enigma, this is Enigma. So let us do your August reading between 21 to 30. Let's see the messages for you, Scorpio. This is going to be for all of you, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, the Mercury sign, the Scorpio, G one. Let's see the messages for you. And do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to this channel, which is I Enigma and I Enigma Scorpio channel, as well as I Enigma Hindi channel. Okay, all three channels where I do Scorpio and other signs. Now... If you want a more personal reading from me, then you can reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. And I also do wiper based spells for high good. We have energized pure intention charge crystals for you. And we have crystals in limited edition. So if you want to grab your favorite crystal of highest quality and intention charge, then reach out to me. Check out my Instagram for free August predictions. And they're really resonating with a lot of people. Follow my Instagram for more updates and offers. I am coming up with a workshop real soon. So it's related to urgent wish fulfillment workshop. You want to be a part of it. Immediately enroll yourself because only a few days are left. Now let's see the messages for your Scorpio. What do you need to know? There we have. Oh, Knight of Cups. Someone is keeping emotions for you. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, it's time. It's your time. It's happening. It's happening. Someone is coming with a marriage offer real soon. It is shocking. It's surprising because all this while I've been reading for you, Scorpio, I was getting like on and off energy. Sometimes it's happening. Sometimes just things not go in the right direction and everything falls apart. Uh, I was not expecting such immediate twist in your life, but I'm seeing there's change. Someone is coming with a love offer. I'm sensing this is more about someone treating you as the future partner for marriage. Like this person sees you as the one. This person is feeling like you're the one that they can, you know, feel like they can be in long-term marriage with. So you can expect a marriage offer from someone in love with you. This person is coming from a very big, like full-fledged family or a huge background. A lot of money. Oh my gosh. But things do not work out. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, as usual. Are you going to deny this relationship or are you going to say no? Okay, I think you are going to be rejecting this person. Not because this person is not up to the mark, but something to do with uh, you not being able to shift, relocate, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm sensing, let's see what this is all about. Like, is this a good card or a bad, bad card? Oh my gosh. I'm sensing that you're going to reject this love offer, marriage offer that's coming in. A very, very good marriage offer is coming in. But maybe there's a religion difference. Maybe there's a country difference. Something major that you can't change. And you may have to compromise with... Uh, your career maybe for or other important things your home you may have to leave your home to be with this person so because of this reason you made a decision to not give this a shot and this hurts you this makes you feel bad but that is best that's what you you think that that's the best decision now why do we have this oh my gosh your person is heartbroken guys your person is heartbroken or will be heartbroken maybe this is another scorpio or cancer they see you as a marriage material or there is an energy of an older female coming between you and them that caused this separation i feel this person is hurting over the separation they want you back they want you and only you but i feel like you're backing away you pushed away this connection connection because someone in their family didn't want this to happen or they come from a different background and it's just not going to be a good idea to, you know, take things forward. You thinking about this in a long term, you know, basis, like you think that the future is not good between us, then why to put efforts, why to put energy, even though you have feelings, you definitely have. That's something that I can simply see. You guys have feelings. They have feelings. Definitely. They see a future with you. They want to marry you. But this ending had to happen and I feel like they are feeling heartbroken and they can't do anything. They feel they feel helpless. They feel like they can't do anything. They want to do something. They want to work things out, but they're just helpless. So there's a lot that is bothering them. And I feel like this has lowered their confidence in themselves. 
so someone is feeling low empty like a loser not wanting to commit to anyone just because you're not there in their life even if this person has to go had to ghost you or had to leave you this was the reason there was an energy of you know not working things out in the long run not being able to work things out in the long run due to differences major differences are there maybe there's a height difference maybe there's an age difference i don't know but you see a major difference over here both of you so it is from your side i feel strongly scorpio that you had to cut this and move on this is a pisces i'm sensing now they're feeling hesitant to reach out to you now they're like wondering okay if i reach out to this person what are the chances of them taking me back or what are the chances of things working out and what the, what are the chances that i might feel um ashamed or embarrassed of doing this or what if this uh, scorpio is already engaged with someone i'm sensing a strong bass person energy wanting to reconnect with you with a completely new energy like they want a new beginning in a completely different manner they don't want to repeat the past this person you can call that they're changed there is an energy of reconciliation i'm seeing in all the channels if wherever i'm doing scorpio read hindi channel scorpio channel as well as this channel everybody in the in every channel i mean i am saying the same thing i'm getting the same same thing so someone from the past is too hesitant to reach out to you and is too much into their mind what if this doesn't work out what if the scorpio makes fun of me they moved on what if they like come shouting at me and telling me you did this you did that oh how dare you you know but you're not that kind of a person scorpio truly this person still has a lot to learn about you now i'm sensing there's one more energy coming into your life okay there's one more person that's coming into your life scorpio you might get stuck between two options king of cups king of pentacles or queen of cups queen of pentacles i'm sensing whoever male or female there are two energies coming into your life now one of these options is highly rich competitive and successful and another one is just falling in love with you like their feelings are deep as as ocean so both of these options want stability marriage commitment long term now let us see let's first talk about king of pentacles who is this person okay the king of pentacles is strongly sensing the energy of moving forward with you marrying you but there is anxiety around it why there is anxiety around it let's see scorpio there's an age difference some of you person is way too younger or they have a fear of commitment either of the two now i don't see that this person has a fear of commitment because we're getting the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is more about like let's settle down let's take it forward let's not stay in the same energy anymore but yeah i'm sensing that this person feels like they have to make efforts all over again or the anxiety is all about them not being able to convince you or impress you to like them okay yeah i feel like this person is too much into the future than trying to work things out in the present moment they have to make efforts if they want this kind of a future they see a future with you they see marriage they see kids with you but there is an anxiety the anxiety about oh i have to make those efforts to work things out and to see this outcome that i visualize maybe that's the anxiety what else the anxiety could be doing yeah the anxiety of not able to put the exact the right kind of efforts okay you guys are in a no contact energy i'm also sensing that this person is not able to make a final decision over you yeah they want to get married they have a crush on you but the love is missing i feel like they see you as a perfect match but they still want to check out other options whether other options one of these options are my soulmate they are not able to figure out whether you're their soulmate but they definitely want this future okay so that is why you may see this person not talking to you or sometimes they are very much available sometimes they are not available this person has lot of problems i feel like they're not able to stick to one person or make a decision because they have lot of options 
or they're always busy with work. You might see this person always moving from one place to another, doing their work. So most probable outcome with this King of Pentacles. Let's see. I'm seeing they're not so sure. I'm seeing them wanting to wait a bit. I'm not seeing this connection working out. But yes, there is always like um, 30 to 70% of chance. Like that means the 70% there's a chance of things working out, but 30% not working out with this King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles. And then let's talk about King of Cups. I'm seeing this person could be this person, the pentacle person could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn or an Aquarius. I feel they're also looking for someone that is an equal match status wise. Like they're looking for someone way too richer. Even if you are a rich person, if, if you have higher status, they, they still greed. They have greed for more, more money. So they might be money minded, but this person definitely want marriage. They have crush on you. Now let's see the another one, which is King of Cups. Who is this person? This could be the person trying to work things out from the past. This could be the person coming back from the past. This could be the person that has changed their mind, that has gone. The life in their, uh, you know, their life has come to full circle. And now they've realized that you are the person that they should have given a major, major shot to. And now that they have had a lot of experience and they know that what they are missing out on, they started to value your worth even more. So this person is in love with you. So I'm sensing this is someone that is going to message you out of the blue and you will be surprised. But they're scared. There's a fear. There's a fear around something. Let me see what that is. You come off as too strong and too independent and not wanting a connection with this person anymore. You come off as someone that has moved on, that's figured out how life is without this person. You are very calm and collected and strong and powerful. You don't really need a man or a uh, woman woman okay so they feel like you are too independent to even need or want a relationship so they'd look like a puppet in your life they'd look like a showpiece in your life they don't want they want uh to be to feel like they're important okay they want your you to ask for help from them they want you to give them more importance like there is an important role of them in their in your life so they see you as someone that comes off as too strong too independent too confident and they're not capable of you. That's what they think. But the love that's happening is just something that they can't control. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, you energy. They feel proud of you. Okay. They see you as someone that's a person of self-respect. I feel like they are also very attracted towards you with the color white over here. And you are the one that is able to tame this person. They have strong sexual desire to be with you guys. I feel like this person is not able to control their horses. They are so interested and they want to like go out on a date at least with you. They will ask you out on a date no matter how much you ignore it or you the outcome is yes or no. It doesn't matter whether you're going to reject this person or whether this thing will work out. It doesn't matter. But this person is definitely wanting to take you out on a date because they can't resist this desire to just look into your eyes 24-7. They have this desire. There's a strong you know passion like intense passion and desire to see you to have you in their life to have you in their arms like they want to wrap you around their arms and make you feel comfortable and if you're a man watching this obviously you want to do that okay so two people one person money-minded interested but still has other options another person is in love they are someone that you dealt with in the past and now they want you back with a completely new energy they want to fix things they have the lost spark is back i can say that even much more stronger than before this person started respecting you they started seeing you as a nurturing person they feel guilty about what they did a lot of things are going on in this person's head which is making them feel clumsy and not able to clearly come towards you yes they're so stuck i feel you may have blocked this person you've started to live your life on your own terms you don't care about this person anymore you're pushing this person away get off my way you did this to me you did that to me i'm not interested that is what you are saying there is this energy of not wanting to give them another shot having trust issues walking away starting your life afresh with someone new that is what you're planning on well, what I'm seeing is this person definitely deserves a shot because they have come into your life with a spiritual lesson. Transformation has taken place. The justice. 
if they really want you they have to prove themselves and they're ready to do that i feel like they're going to make a lot of efforts towards you they're going to make eight of pentacles is like this person is trying their best to work things out to make you understand that they want this okay and i feel there will be a good outcome here you might give up on this resistance and you may give them a chance this person definitely wants a chance they are going to show you that they're going they will be loyal they are loyal they want to be with you they want to stand with you they want to grow with you they want to have happy family with you just trust me once that's what this person is saying this could be a libra or they are born on 11 or 29 okay yeah Mm -hmm. perfect hierophant this person is going to ask you for marriage but you will stay confused you don't know you're un you're unsure or some of you are already married to this person gotten divorced or were about to take a divorce and now this person wants to give another shot but you're the one that will stay confused here so over here the message for you is equal give and take is required some of you dealing with a taurus I'm definitely seeing this person wants to marry and take things forward here with you. They want to offer you their love. King of Cups twice. That's a confirmation this person is in love with you. They want to start afresh. They want to start everything all together. They want you to feel special. You are the one that's like hiding away from this person from now because you need some space. You need some time to think. And you're also maybe thinking about in a separation or not giving them another shot because you're liking the solo energy you're in you know you're very you you feel safe you feel comfortable you feel secluded you feel happy you can focus on yourself focus on your life there's no one that's creating that foundation and stoppage in your life so you can write your book based on your own choice so some of you this is this is a pisces that has been secretly watching you and keeping tabs on you as well okay they have a lot of information about your personal life but i feel like uh, this person is into spiritual work or they like spiritual work i feel like maybe they're getting some uh, positive kind of prayers done to get you back three of cups this person wants to take you out make you feel good and spend time with you like you guys will spend special time and recall old memories and revive the old connection back the old spark is back i'm seeing a lot of success in this connection happening if you give them one shot cancer energy scorpio pisces energy again this person is planning on taking you out but how they're strategizing you will go out together something that i'm saying is seeing away ace of swords they have made up their mind that you're their potential target and you're the one that they have to be with. If you guys were in a situation, this is definitely turning into marriage or a strong long-term relationship for now. I feel this person is also very proud of themselves. They have a crown on their head. This person could be very rich. So, but what I'm seeing is it's not about money right now. It's all about love over here. So all they have in their mind is to work things out with you, to have you, to be with you, to grow with you. To develop feelings and expand and have a baby together if, if your age allows 10 or ones it's not going to be easy though but love happens when you're trying to adjust with each other beautiful i feel this person is going to do anything and everything to have you in their life either have you in their life or have you back in their life but it's, this is happening guys don't take it easy this is this could be a very very for strong person reading for a lot of people watching this. They have desire. They can do anything for you. I'm sensing this person just going crazy over you. They have strong passion towards you, even more than what they had before. Like the fantasies that they're having. Strong desire, strong intimacy. This time, love making is going to be even more intense. False person. I feel they've differentiated, they've come to a conclusion like who is right and who is wrong. Or you are going to come to a conclusion as who to trust, who not to trust. You will see the true faces of the people or this person has seen the true face of the people and now they want you back like anything. They may be asking for a child with you or will happen. Or you guys have a child together that binds this connection. Yeah, they know they messed up everything and now they want to fix it. Fix this all up, guys. 
If you ask me what should you do, it's a green signal. Go for it. All right, you guys will definitely go out on a date. This connection will revive into new love once again. The trust will uh, build up once again. Scorpio, please. The color red is talking about intense desire to be with each other, okay? You guys will fall in love like never before. I feel this time the love will be different. This time you guys will realize what love truly is. It's not just about um two bodies meet it's about not about two minds meet it's a, actually about two souls meeting it's a soulmate connection it is you accept a person with all the flaws and imperfections and but you guys stay loyal so this time the love is even on a higher vibration with each other you guys deserve to be with each other yes you're destined for greatness on the wings of love so this love is going high vibrational you guys will love each other for the lifetime from now onwards. I'm feeling this connection will go over um, multiple lifetimes. Okay, turn on your love light. You guys will love each other like never before. So this is what is happening for you, Scorpio. I hope this has helped. So do not forget to comment down. Tell me what. Some of you have their birthday on 23 of something or your person has. 23, if your birthday or your person's birthday is on 23, I don't think Scorpio, your birthday, but your person's birthday on 23, then definitely this person is very, very kind and friendly. I'm seeing this connection is going to be at peace, like you guys will resolve issues and go with the flow and miracle will happen. You guys will make babies. <laughs> you guys will do partnership and grow. No one should be in a confusion mode. Okay, so right now you're in this decision making mode. You're like thinking, you're trying to, you may be thinking of getting a tarot reading. Okay, should I give them a chance? I think give them one chance. Someone is probably here. Okay, you guys have actually been very childish dealing with things. And I feel like you guys have schooled each other, you know, learned a lot, a lot of lessons. And now that this love is happening, it's becoming more strong. And the trust is just getting better and better between the two of you. But you guys need to talk more because the communication is the key for you guys to come together forever. Now, let's seek one last advice for you. There you go. Your unique side is something that you should completely embrace because this is why you're being loved. This is why you're special. This is why you're successful. All right, now let's see the signs you will be dealing with okay gemini virgo sun moon rising or venus sagittarius capricorn leo so these are some signs i'm getting let's do the charms this could be a pisces or a fire sign but there's a lot of passion this person wants to be with you I'm sensing a lot of people are jealous of this connection. They don't want things to work out. So you guys have a lot of enemies around that wants to create problems between the two of you. But there is a sense of eagerness to work things out with you. This person is very clear minded that they want you and nobody else. And this time the connection is going to get even more strong. So these could be the initials or your name has E multiple times or one time. And it's also talking about you guys being from Egypt, England, any place that starts from E. I'm also seeing Kenya. Okay. Canada, Quebec. Mm. Berlin. Queensland. So these are the messages that I'm getting, okay? So yeah, there's clarity in this person's mind now. Okay, so let me see from Aries to Pisces. What does your person think of you for you? Scorpio. Aries is wanting to paint the town red with this proposal coming in. They have a crush on you. Taurus misses you like hell. They want you back. 
the Gemini is seeing you as light in the uh, end of the tunnel. And they feel like you're sunshine in their life. You're special. There's something about you that makes them emotional. They want you. And the Cancer is finding negative. I feel like the Cancer is using mean ways to get you by hook or by crook. Leo wants to propose you. They're ready to come towards you, the love of her. Virgo wants to settle down with you. Libra is a little too hesitant, scared. Scorpio wants marriage and kids. Sagittarius wants to grow in love. They want to take you out. The Aquarius, Scott Capricorn, sorry. Capricorn is thinking about making a move towards you. They want some rest right now, some break right now. Space. Aquarius is planning to reach out to you with a special proposal. Pisces is head over heels and they can't stop thinking about you. They're just obsessed with you. So that's about it. And I'm also sensing one more thing with Pisces. There will be a lot of communication that's going to clear a lot of confusion. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Come back for more. I'll see you back again with more stuff. Please don't forget to check out all my channels. And like, share, subscribe, and comment again. I'll see you again. Bye.